How's it, guys? Happy birthday! <laughs> um, check, 26 and just boom, wrinkles just rocked up. That's unreal. That's, yeah, no, this is from a good old-fashioned hard sleep on these pillows. These pillows are weird, man. I don't know who ever thought it would be a good idea to make square pillows. For my birthday, I want rectangular pillows. What a beautiful day we've got. Ooh, just for me, Copenhagen. Let's go get me some breakfast and then we'll come and give me some presents. Gone for the birch muesli again. I went for some fruit this morning. My throat's actually not feeling that great. But like really sore on the one side. Old age, man. It'll sneak up on you just like that. Coffee has arrived. And as Sav said, they gave me a big boy one because they obviously know it. Why are there no sparklers in it? Did you not tell them? Birthday present time. I already knew I was getting these because we picked them out together. And now, what you've all been waiting for since yesterday, what's in the surprise bag? We don't know. That's why we got it. <laughs> okay. To start, oh, we've got some paper straws. Okay. Papier sugeror. Let's see what else do we have in the lucky packet. Oh, an exercise band. Why does it look like it's been raccooned? <laughs> Someone's definitely raccooned it. Maybe this is just all the stuff that people return and that they can't sell. Exercise oh, band. That actually might be it. Okay, gonna do some exercising. That's cool. I'm 26. So I need to be getting fit. Oh, what is this? A spy camera. What? What? What is it even? Oh, so you can. <laughs> oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Cool little gimmick. Let's see what else we've got in here. Oh, a little notepad. Uh, you do love a notepad. Oh, I can use this to take down facts today when we get to the Natural History Museum. Oh, I can tell what this is. What is Something for the birthday boy. Ooh. <laughs> One more thing. Ooh, a little bill. Vroom, vroom, vroom. So some great news. Obviously, when my wallet was still in, I had to get my cards replaced. And one of the accounts that I have is with Revolut, which is um, online banking type app things where it's an app, you get a card, and you just top up the card from your actual bank account. I signed up for it just before we came on this trip because they don't have any currency conversions. Anyway, long story short, the card was stolen, but I got a replacement delivered to the hotel and it is here today. So, I'll finally have a card. If you don't know what I'm talking about, my wallet was stolen. On our way here, check my hair, jeez. I'll link that video up here. Oh, I never know which way it's gonna pop up because I think this is reversed, but I'll link my video up there somewhere. Hi. Hi. There you Perfect, go. thank you very much. You, you too. Okay, you guys ready? Check here. Oh, yeah. No details on the front. Sick. And we're off, the birthday, but the birthday. The birthday adventure begins. We're going to Tripoli Gardens, not Tripoli Gardens, Tivoli Gardens, which is just next door to our hotel. And we, it's a little theme park vibe, so we're gonna do some rides, we're gonna scream and stuff, so I've preemptively taken a strepsil. And then we're also going to, what are we going to, Sav? The Geological Museum. The Geological Yay. Museum. <laughs> it's his birthday, so we get to do things that he likes. Yeah. Rock science. Yay. The science of rock. <laughs> Here we are, Natural History Museum of Denmark. We are going to number two. We are here, and number two is the Geological Museum. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm actually quite excited. I think I'll do too. <gasps> Dinosaurs! As we're walking through the park, there's, I don't know, I mean, this thing says it's Gunera Tinctoria from Chile, but maybe it's just because they replanted them or something, but they look gross, man. Gross. Here we are, Geologisk Museum. Oh yeah, girl. Mm. Damn, she's thick. She's thick. Go at that double coconut butt. Mm. <laughs> For those interested, that is a large Maldivian cocoa, complete, rare, and beautiful double coconut booty. You guys already know what this is because this is what we were finding in Kenya. This is a volcanic glass. Oh, oh she's a beauty. Obsidian. I'm willing to bet money that the guy that found these 
who named these. It was named Andrew. Protoceratops andrusi. And this one here is the Twerkosaurus. Get, 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 get low when it was blow up. Check out these eggs. I think they got the, um, the label wrong though, because I'm pretty sure these are the eggs of Big Pharma Pilosaurus. Sav, are you finding this enjoyable or humorous? Ornithod bone puzzle. That's the shin bone of the young heart. <laughs> Can you put the pieces back together? I'm on it. Ta da! And they told me I didn't have what it takes to be a geologist. I've come into the fluorescent mineral section. So look at all of these. Get a good look. Get a good look. Okay, and are you ready? When you're underage, but you get together with your friends on the weekend and you have like two liters of coke each, that's when you get soda lit. Gold. I love gold. So in my first year at university, I actually spent plenty of times around places like this um, when I was actually doing geology, because I did geology in first year. The only reason I didn't continue is because I didn't get good enough marks to make the cut for second year, but I think I'm actually glad. I still dig this kind of stuff though, checking out all the different samples of minerals and, and rocks and Sav is not too stoked. <laughs> it's my birthday. All right, so that's that. Pretty cool. Luckily a lot of the stuff was in English, all the newer exhibitions, so we got our money's worth, which was free. So, <laughs> definitely. Oi, ducks. Do you want to hear my duck call? <laughs> this guy practicing his frisbee. We are coming to Paul Dan Borger for lunch because it's a little cafe and it was kind of in the area where we wanted to head to. Inside, outside, angle, angle, golden bangle. So we just got ourselves a table there surrounded by books because civilization means food and literature all around. I like that. I'm gonna try out my new card, hopefully it works, otherwise it's gonna be awkward at the, at the till. I'm getting the chicken, bacon and curry dressing sandwich and Sav is getting the serrano ham, melon, mozzarella and pesto. One. Nothing better. Well, as I always say, plenty better, but right now, ice cold coke. Mmm. Just look at that reaction. <laughs> food has arrived, but only my food because they got Sav's order wrong. But these potatoes are so good, and this is a chili mayo. This is a chicken with mm -hmm, bacon and curry. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And there's some leafies over there. Ooh. There we go, Sav's has arrived. Not long after I finished filming my sandwich. Look, I have hardly even done any damage to it yet. Mm -hmm. As you can tell, it was an amazing sandwich. Thoroughly enjoyed it. And Sav thoroughly enjoyed her Coke. I don't really eat bread, guys. <laughs> yeah, Sav doesn't. Sav can't really have the bread, so. I kind of just end up dissecting everything. Finish your lettuce, though, and your tomato, and your melon. You haven't even touched your melon. melon on the is so nasty. Does anyone, the only melon I like is watermelon. Watermelon. There's the round tower, which means we've now come to the shopping district, as you can see all the shops, because we're on our way back to the hotel, and we're just going to do a little peruse. There's the place where I got my humor. <laughs> back where we started this morning, at the train church. Our hotel is right next to it. This is it right here, Hotel Astoria Bar and Hotel. We're just gonna come for a little bit of a foot rest because my hooves are a hurting. How are yours doing, Seth? No, so sore. We're gonna do a double foot massage, guys. Exactly, head to toe, head to toe style foot massage. I'll never forget you. <laughs> Here we are, the time has come. There's no big sign that's, it. oh there we go, that'll do. Tivoli, it's world renowned, world famous. We've got free access with these Copenhagen cards, but we are gonna need to pay for some individual rides, we think, I'm not sure. I have no idea how it works. I feel like I'm just gonna be reminded how old I am when my neck starts to hurt after one ride. <laughs> these are beautiful, there's so many. This is dank. Hello. You know how they came up with the name for tulips? Oh. <laughs> okay, give us a little map. It looks like, so you can see the price of the individual rides. Oh. No, I got it. I don't need you. Oh, 26, Savannah, I don't need your help. <laughs> so you got a couple rides here, price per ride. It's like, most of them are 30 dicks per ride. First on the theme park scavenger hunt checklist, I got myself a slushy. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, the sugar is good. Mm. I'm thinking maybe we do give this one a bash. The big guy. I can't do it. You just not? Okay. 
it's not even about a scaredy cat thing, it's about a breaky neck thing. Riders must have three functional limbs to be able to hold on tight. What? No sunglasses, no phones, no cameras, no cash in the pocket. Okay, okay I'm not going to tell them, but I'm going to take my phone. I'm going to try to film it. Okay, Undercover. Well. <laughs> 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 I feel a little bit sick, actually. Oh, now I need to find Sav. I think Sav is trying to give me the full experience by hiding from me, because now I feel like a lost child. Sav! There she is, she was hiding from me. You were you trying to give me the full little lost child experience? Yeah. Rude. How was the speed demon? It was good. They should have called it the Dizzy Maker, though, because I came off feeling a little bit sick. But I'm all right now, because I walked around this bloody park for Two hours looking for you. Oh. Thank you. I think this weird statue of an old man playing a violin and all these naked kids. <laughs> what is it? Glock out with your cock out? <laughs> That's a xylophone, not a glockenspiel. What's a glockenspiel look like? It's like a xylophone. Ah, perfect. Hey, it's a peacock. He wants a couple of beers. A couple of beers for the boy. I almost had a pet peacock. How? So when my my parents moved into their house that's like they live in now. It's on a golf course. My parents were like the second house to move in and there was this wild peacock that lived on like a property next door. And I like tamed him. He used to spread out my hand and everything. Oh my, is it albino? No, is it albino? No, because it's got black eyes. It's beautiful. Yeah. Me neither. Oh, I think I actually have seen one. That was a lie. Huh. Because it's someone's birthday, we're going to pop into Kakenhagen because they do cake and champagne. Do they do they have a combo meal? One piece of pie, cream cake, one piece of pound cake. What about pound one cake, pound of piece cake, of cake? Cake, 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 everybody knows. Pound cake, 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 cake. That's good. Yeah, okay, Kanye, just. It wasn't Kanye. We decided against cake and Hagen because as we stepped in there and got the whiff of all the sweet cakey type things, I just had a flashback to that slush puppy that I had. 10 minutes ago. And, uh, Matt didn't mention it, but we so might have smashed some Maltesers. That's not him. This that, 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 that. <laughs> Plus, we might have churros because we are We're definitely Mexican having churros. churros. What, what if do you they mean, have? might? If they have. I'm going to order them regardless. What if they don't have at the restaurant? It's my birthday. <laughs> what kind of sicko, right at the entrance of a theme park where there's going to be plenty of children, has a bare slush puppy machine? These people, I don't know what sort of gimmick they're running, but. That is disgusting. How's this? This bar is called Chicks. And that place is called Dudes. So right next to each other is Chicks and Dudes. And that one plays sports. And this one does organic rotisserie and takeaway. We are now popping into Lil Irma. We're gonna pick up some ciders and go chill on the canal because it's still a beautiful day out. Hopefully they've got here. This place smells a bit funny. It smells... <gasps> This is the Whole Foods of Norway. Not Norway, where are we? Denmark. Sav's so gonna go for the apple one. I'm gonna try the pear one just to be different, but she said these were really good. This is what she had yesterday. Here we are. The destination. Two cheeky ducks. And two cheeky ducks. Psst. Just, let's just cheers and then we'll do it for real. This is where we're coming for my birthday dinner. A place called Sanchez. This place has been so highly recommended, guys. By so many By different so people. so many people. I've seen articles. And apparently it's one of the best tacos in the world. Best tacos in the world. Sanchez, everyone's saying we've got to come. So we booked a table. I've gone for a cheeky tecate, because we're in a Mexican, uh, Mexican place. So it's actually called a tecate. And Sam went for the homemade lemonade. I'm so excited. Cheers. Cheers, happy birthday. Thank you. For starters, we went for a small bowl of uh, salsa and uh, a massive thing of pork chicharron. That's good. You don't even need the salsa. So oily though. Okay, here we go. Here are our tacos of the day. Homemade tacos. Then we've got pork neck and pork belly. Cooked for a really long time, the guy said, and a lot of fat, so it's nice and rich. And then a pickle made out of cucumber, onion, and habanero. Are they all the same? Yeah, okay. I think they're all the same. Enjoy. Oh, and grilled cheese. Grilled cheese on there as well. Let me know what you're thinking. <laughs> bueno. 
In my 26 years, that was a good taco. Wow. Before I forget it, we've got an open faced churro sandwich, they called it. It's the churro base. It's the vanilla frappe. Parfait. Parfait. Oh, okay. I'm glad you were listening. Vanilla parfait. And then uh, some whipped cream on top with uh, Negroni and uh, orange zest, which I can smell from here. It's so good. It smells so good. Okay, tuck in and give us the review, Sav. Oh, it's a frozen vanilla parfait. That's what they said. Cold? No, I really hate Negroni. That's a bar last liquor table. So I can taste that in the cream. It's not my bar, but otherwise, yeah. Otherwise it's nice. Let me see. Churro bar's good. Vanilla parfait is good. I'm not 100% sure what Negroni is. I think what I'm tasting is the Negroni. I don't think I like it that much. Just left Sanchez and I am willing to throw this out there and say that that is the best taco that I've ever had. Um, hands down. And probably ever will have. <laughs> and probably ever will have. I hope not. Yeah, it was the perfect blend of textures. So they were both the same, but the first one, because it was still fresh, the cheese, it was like grilled cheese onto the taco. So it was like crispy grilled cheese. The taco was soft and had the texture of a freshly made corn taco. Then the pork was in there, which was like fatty and juicy and... Mm. And there was like and this pickle that was like crunchy and then it was acidic and it like went down through the taco. Oh, God, it was so <laughs> Also, look at the name of this restaurant. Yes, skank. These are nice, they're comfy. We've got an interesting booty area though. There's a lot of material back there. I don't know what's going on. But I just wanted to say that I did have a fantastic 26th birthday. Thanks to everybody that messaged me on Instagram, um, YouTube, Twitter, DMs, all the things. I appreciate it. I appreciate all the messages. And on that note, thank you for watching for continuing to watch and I hope you're enjoying how many days have we been here three I hope you've enjoyed the Copenhagen vlog so far today will be the third day yeah if you haven't seen any of the others they will pop up here and you know what actually they're gonna pop up here and then the subscribe thing is gonna come over this little light bulb